Okay, now ray diagram number 5. The object is at F, that's for concave mirror. Okay, so the first line that I'm going to draw is going to be the line in the center that's going to be our principal axis. Okay, then I'm going to draw the mirror in such a way by keeping the protractor okay in such a way so that the 90 degrees line is coinciding with the principal axis and on both the sides I'm going to draw these curves which are equal okay so this is going to be our concave mirror now this is the point that is the center of the mirror this will be the pole now from the pole I'm going to mark at a distance 3 centimeters this is going to be our focus and another 3 centimeters that is going to be our center of curvature okay now I'm going to mark I'm going to draw the object okay now the object is at F just a small object we are going to draw so this is going to be the position of the object all right the next ray that I am drawing is from this point the ray is parallel to the principal axis any ray parallel to the principal axis has to pass through the focus okay so this is the gray colored ray that is parallel to the principal axis and after reflection it is passing through the focus now the next ray that I am drawing okay from this point now you see this ray you cannot make it pass through focus because it is already on the focus so now from this point I'm going to join over your center of curvature okay now this point that is joined from here through the center of curvature okay there is going to be only one ray over here because this ray passing through the center of curvature it will get reflected back by the same path now these both rays okay that is the pink colored ray and the gray colored ray both of these are parallel to each other now parallel rays as you know they never meet or they meet at infinity okay so here the position of the image is going to be at infinity and the image is going to be highly magnified okay let's uh, draw the rays for these the first ray is the gray colored ray okay that is parallel to the principal axis after reflection it is passing through the focus okay then this ray that we are drawing okay that is passing through the center of curvature so it is getting reflected back by the same path now this pink ray and gray rays both of them are parallel so they are going to meet at infinity now we are going to write the characteristics of the image the first thing is nature okay it's going to be real and inverted then position okay because parallel rays never meet or meet at infinity the position is going to be at infinity and size is going to be highly magnified 